Yes, uh, of course, there is a division, even among Samis, and uh, if you compare with, this, with the Swedes, maybe it's less, but that's another story. Uh, but, uh, of course, there is a part of that is the legislation. Uh, we can see a diff, diff, at the difference, uh, you know, it's one situation, Norway, one in Sweden, and a third in, in Finland. So, yeah, the Swedish one is, is, is uh, quite complicated, because it's really mainly for reindeer holding. In Norway, you, we have radio herding, we have a radio herding organization, but also this, uh, the history of the Norwegian Sandwich in relation to the Nor Norwegian state is, 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 is different. So it is, uh, of course, you can compare, but, uh, but there is uh, certain challenges on the Swedish side. And when you talk about uh, urbanization, of course, today uh, a large number of Samis uh, uh, and Sami descendants are living in the urban areas. There are quite many here in Uppsala, in Stockholm, and so on. Uh, and many of these people are now coming back. So there is now, uh, I think, uh, quite a strong group, and it's going to become even stronger uh, that uh, that uh, those so, so, so called urban Samis. Maybe you are a part of that uh, new generation of urban Samis who have a different type. They, they they pronounce their views and aspiration in a different way, maybe than uh, indigenous Samis in in the rural areas. So there is, a, I think, the the urban Samis are are a quite an important group and probably are going to diverse the discussion among Samis. Uh, yes, definitely. Um, and I think that we are all needed in different places, that I have my place, I, f I really feel that I have my place and that I, I have a duty, <laughs> um, as well as the, uh, the people that live in small villages. They do it in their way, and it's a lot of things that need to be fixed there. So, um, yes, the, but the first question was, you asked... Okay, about the division. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is, I think that is a very interesting question. Um, and you can find like the, the bad guy is the same bad guy in all of these questions. Uh, it is difficult for a lot of different groups among Samis to collaborate. And that is also very much a result of the history. Um, for example, in Sweden, I have a lot of friends um, in Arjeplog, around that area, Vilhelmina, um, which is the south part of Sápmi. Um, they, they forced moved Samis here in Sweden. They, they, they just kicked them out of their, their home and their land and forced moved them down to the south of Sápmi. And this was northern Samis that forced moved. So they had to, they, they didn't like spend the land. It was the same amount of land, but just uh, twice as many Samis with twice as many reindeers. And they just forced a war on them. Like, now you can solve this yourselves. And some people even made agreements, like, if you're, we will get your family in, and then I'll, I will protect you. So I will keep this family out, we will get you into the Sami village, and I will protect you then, so just, just do what I say. So this is what they did, like, and this is out in the open, this is not, not a secret, we all know about it. And you can still very much see the effects of it. We have so many families that still try to get into the Sami villages because, I mean, the generation that got kicked out, they are still alive, so they remember this. Now you don't force move by law Samis, of course you, you do it in one way or another. Um, but when I worked, I worked as an actress before at the Sami theater, and I remember going to play in Vilhelmina, and one of my co-workers, she, she was scared to go up on stage because she knew there would be families there that did not like her family. Because they've been fighting since she was a kid. I mean, they've been fighting for 40 years. And so my generation, <laughs> we are still brought up with being enemies with some, some of the other families. And this is not something that we created ourselves. So a lot of these issues that Sami had among us are also forced on us because Sweden did, they made a law system, they did things against Samis and then they left the Samis to solve them themselves and still now today they will take no responsibility to, to like 
to get this problem a bit a smaller would be to actually expand the land maybe so all of these families that got kicked out could get in again and the reindeers you didn't have to slaughter any reindeers so everyone could actually live in these villages that the Swedish, the Swedish governors once took but they won't so of course I mean it's, it's hard to solve a problem that you didn't create yourself and still um, try to fight a government that would work against you as a people and then you have to fight in that group as well and that is probably one of the most dangerous things actually and it's a very very hard thing to to figure out how to do or what to do with it so um, it definitely created some kind of a two different camps ranger herders and non-ranger herders um, but that is not the Sami population mm -hmm. the Sami people's fault that is when you leave people in the dirt mm -hmm. that's what happens and uh, I have to point out, and that was the aim of the legislation. Mm. And there have been a discussion to change that, to open up uh, uh, the villages for, for, uh, for other members. But uh, uh, the, the former government, uh, Mr. Reinfeldt's mm. government, they didn't accept that. They said, okay, you can open up the villages for new members, but with no rights to hunt and fish. So it is a question about resources, resources again, and uh, now uh, the uh, the question is still open. We don't know uh, what uh, what the present government will do, and uh, uh, the issue is on the table. So it is a, again a discussion about resources. Mm -hmm.